Hi everyone, welcome to the last video in chapter 2. We will highlight here in this video some questions and answers that were included in the previous quiz. We will start direct directly with the questions. Uh, question 1. A project achieved 41 points. Which certification level the project had achieved? The project won't achieve or receive any lead certification or certified, silver or gold. Here we should highlight that we should be able to memorize or recall uh, the number of points for each lead certification level. For certified, it's from 40 to 49. For silver, it's from 50 to 59. Gold, from 60 to 79. So here, the only right option is certified. Question 2. What is lead rating system? A group of subject matter expertise who provide green building solutions. A software to track green building strategies applied in the building. A reference guide to follow and apply to achieve sustainable functions. A program that provides third-party verification of green buildings. Here you will notice that many of the answers contain something right. For example, the third one, a reference guide. Yeah, there is a reference guide related to lead. Software, it's not a clear or a direct answer. There are many softwares that can aid in lead uh, process, but it's not lead rating system. Lead rating system is not a software. There are many group of subject matters are involved in the lead process, but that is not the answer for what is lead rating system. The only right option here is a program that provides third-party verification of green buildings. Question 3. Which of the following is considered as hard cost? You should be able here to know the difference between a hard cost and a soft cost. The hard cost is related directly to the construction process. The soft cost is related indirectly to the construction process. So when we check the options here, we will see that the first option is prex pro to site. And this is a hard cost. Other options, which are all soft costs, include consultation fees to prepare risk management analysis, permit fees to install plumbing system, third-party inspection services. All these are soft costs. Question 4. What are the project minimum size requirements for LEED BD plus C rating systems? 500 square feet, 100, uh, 1000 square feet, 2,000 square feet, 5,000 square feet. Here also you should recall that BD plus C minimum, the minimum size requirement is 1,000 square feet. Less than 1,000 square feet cannot achieve LEED certification. You should be able to recall it in the final exam. And it might be little complicated than this one. This question is direct to the point. He's just asking you about the number. In the final exam, he will bring a scenario and he will explain four cases or four projects and you should select the appropriate case. You will find many questions in the simulation exams. Question 5. A lead reference guide is essential for project teams to achieve lead certification and understand the process. The following are part of lead reference guide credits and prerequisites, except calculation, documentation, intent, assumptions. Also, you should be able to know and recognize the components of credits and prerequisites. Calculation is part of credit components. Documentation also is required to know what exactly is required to be submitted. The intent and the reasoning behind the credit is also included. Only assumptions is not included. Which of the following is not part of core and shell? You should here be able to understand and recognize what is core and shell. First of all, when you check the options, you will understand which one is not part of the core and shell. Building mechanical systems, building envelope system, building internal spaces clearing, conduit of electrical system. Let's check one by one. 
The building mechanical system is an, is an essential part of the building components and it's not considered as not part of Corangel. It's actually one of the main items that should be included in any building. Building envelope system, that is a shell of the building and it's also part of the current shell. Building internal spaces cladding. The cladding can change and it can easily be added later. It's not part of the core and shell. It's a fit out. It's an addition. And many companies and many retails require that the spaces are core and shell. So they will bring their own design and add it inside. The conduits of electrical system is also part of the core, the main building components. Question 7. Which of the following is a must for a project to be LEED certified? To achieve 45 points from credits and all prerequisites, achieve 50 points from credits and all prerequisites, achieve 40 points from credits and all prerequisites, or achieve 35 points from credits and all prerequisites. Just as a general rule for any project to be LEED certified, the project should meet MPRs, all prerequisites, and achieve at least 40 points of credits to be at least LEED certified. So the only option here that is the right answer is number three. We came to the end of our chapter, chapter two. In the next chapter, we will be discussing integrative process. It will be an easier chapter, smaller chapter, and I believe you will have fun in this chapter. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have learned something. See you in the next videos.